What's going on, Bird Gang? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are for episode seven. Uh, you know, episode six, we finished two and one. Uh, able to improve the team by bringing over Taylor Shepard and Micah Parsons, as we did lose, you know, our number one uh, corner in Quincy Wilson when we played the Titans. So. You know, kind of get it out of the way now. If you guys are new, hit that like, drop those comments, and hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 100 subs by the end of the year. That leaves us a little over 15 days. So, you know, everything helps. So, you know, here in this episode, we're going to take on the Vikings, Patriots, Steelers, and Ravens. Uh, Trying to figure out where we should go. We got three AFC games and an NFC, so you know, might as well jump in, play the AFC, the NFC, and then I'll jump in, play the Ravens. Um, yeah, we'll take a look to see what Minnesota's rocking. Dalvin Cook. Neil Hunter, Adam Thielen, Eric Hendricks, Justin Jefferson. You know, so our team still isn't where we want it to be. Currently a 76, so we have had improvement. Uh, finally in that green rating. So let's get in here and take on the Vikings. Justin Jefferson. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Yards. And he's already got Vikings two catches on the down. opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want and we get a pick. A Let's go. Who's that? Raekwon McC uh, McMillan? Oh, yeah. Your cousin's got nothing on us. You know, Justin Jefferson. He was an absolute monster just being able to you know, break multiple tackles. The first time that, they come up first you know, he had a chance to catch the ball, the but Kurt just must have never seen him there. I'll take an early game interception. So we got you know, a linebacker on Dixon. If the corner stays down low, we should have a good ball. But he didn't. He jumped up. Got Mariota running. And he pick up the block. He almost does. Mariota gets out at the one-yard line. This is when, you know, Hurts should shine. Should be able to, you know, pretty much walk in here. Hopefully. You know, that's what we're hoping for. He doesn't walk in, but gets the touchdown, giving us damn near a 10-point lead. Kirk Cousins goes down, Porter Gustin. And I think that yep, that's his fifth, fifth sack on the season, and three of them came week one. They've been pretty quiet. He's scanning the field so far, but hey, we're getting things done. And that Mariota has all day, all day to run. Hit him with that slide, you know, for pick up of 26 yards there. They, Minnesota just forgot that he can run. And he slides down see. and avoids the hit. We got Good Fulton. Here we go. Now let's try it. Let's try sending Fulton deep. We beat him. Set him there to the outside. Goes up for it. Comes down. Score. The touchdown. Going up. 17-0 here in the first half. Thrown a little soon. Gave you know, Adam Thielen way, way too much separate. For him to pick up 47 yards. First down, so we come Cousins. in, able to force pressure on Kirk Cousins. He throws the ball away. Can we do it again? 
receivers to run it free. And, and there's another example, another incompletion. Throwing again. He got the bull rush. It, he's able to hit Justin Jefferson. But the defense is able to you know, hold strong and you know, hold him from grabbing a, a quick first down. So they're going third and five. Hopefully we can get him to stop. Hold him to three. And I think Justin Jefferson was able to fall forward. Minnesota burns their last time out. Let's see if Madden screws him. And it didn't. So they're going to keep the field goal. They're going to you know, cut it back down to a three-point game here before halftime. We got 13 seconds. On third down, Mariota. That's to Fulgham complete. Travis Fulgham able to, you know, get open on a little bit of Saints cheese. Just improve his stat line. Uh, your drive goal, get Hickson, his 75th career catch. Hopefully we can do that here on this play. But unfortunately, he's covered by way too much, too much traffic over there. But we got Denzel Mims. Mims comes open. Gets a good, good gain on the play. As we're now in the red zone. You know, haven't really been able to get much rushing on the you know, going. Burt's 9 for 25. Minnesota's, for the most part, been able to stop us. So, hopefully, jump in here. Pick up this first down on the ground. And we gain 6 down to the 3. But stay with the overall the love it, 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 his 75th catch here might have a chance depending on what that linebacker does if he's you know sinks in or blitzes he might have him. and we got him he got him 75th catch a touchdown Desperation time. Cousins on fourth down. And we get the pick. Just to seal the game. You know, Ashton Davis can't. David, yeah, Davis. Can't break a tackle. Like David, I don't know what the hell his name is. But either way, we got another pick. You know, secure this game. Not in this case. They were still get a couple rushing yards there for Fulham. But this game's over. We'll calculate the score and figure out who we get from the Vikings. All right, so give you a quick look here um, at the, the scoring system there. So we won the game. So that's one star. We won by 21. That's another star. We won the turnover battle. So we're now sitting at two and a half stars. Um, didn't get anything for passing. Nothing for rushing. Just a yard short. We're getting half for you know, Travis Fulgham there. 100 yards. Defensively. We got nothing for sacks, but we get a full point for the two interceptions by Ashton Davis and Raekwon McMillan, bringing it up to three and a half points. We round it down three stars. We get plus six from the Minnesota Vikings. Obvious choice here. Upgrade our, our right outside linebacker position, bringing over Harrington who is a scheme fit and getting rid of Roche who's a 67 non-scheme fit and I think Harrington's just a little younger all right so coming in here week seven at the Patriots and we have a breakout scenario now let's I believe take it's a for Ashton to see Davis. how you can improve your team and it is well deserved Hold the Patriots less than 200 yards. And whatever the rest of the stuff is, 
Got some upgrades. Not much. Mariota Denzel Mims. Get him to a 71, 76. Um, but yeah, we got the Patriots. Should be a winnable game. It's a divisional game. So oh, just a win gets us two stars off the bat. So might as well send it. See what we got going on for us. And we get absolutely shit on. 44 to 10. Now let's take a minute There's to see no how way you can that Ashton team. Davis picked up that. Uh, yeah. Let's tally this one up. All right. So this game was absolutely horrible. Um, didn't even get off the, the first screen. And they were already at two and a half stars. Five turnovers. Which right there is, you know, another two and a half stars. So just with, you know, winning the game, winning a divisional game, you know, there's two. One, the turnover battle, which is two and a half plus the five interceptions gives them another two and a half, puts them at five star performance already, which is a plus 10. Uh, you cut it down two and a half, round it up. Yeah, so we lost Hakeem Butler, Robert Hunt, and Rashad Bateman. They used their full plus six to really improve their squad that absolutely kicked our ass. So here we are. <laughs> After taking that huge, huge hit, we got the four and two Pittsburgh Steelers. Hopefully we can get the win. But... No, in our luck, we're going to lose. That steel curtain's going to come down hard. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, 56 to 3, we lose. And we lose bad. So, surprisingly, with that, you know, 56 to 3 beatdown, it was not a five-star performance. Uh... You know, they won by 21, they won the game. There's two stars right off the bat. Then Brady, who is the starter over Roethlisberger, had 300 yards, half a star. Had um, Yeah. He had half a star, which then had three touchdowns, another half star, so there's three. Then you had Snell had three rushing touchdowns, half a star, three and a half. Um, their other running back went over 100 yards, so you now you're at four, and then they had one interception, but you had four and a half. Round down, you're at two and a half. Well, cut that in half, you're two and a quarter, and you round that down, that's down to two. They get a plus four. They take you know, our second. Well, not even our second, but our starting corner. You know, 78 overall, Mosley. And we get Witherspoon, so not not the way that we want to go. Defense is being torn apart. First loss, we got destroyed on offense, losing Hakeem Butler, who has been absolutely phenomenal for us. And now, within this episode and... You know, episode before this one, we lost both our state, both our top corners. We have confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's a close attendance breaker. We get the sack on Lamar. Devon Chase on. Recording. He's the one that got home and takes. I don't know how many sacks he has on the year. I don't think it's that much, but still, not an easy feat to bring bring down Lamar Jackson. So, that's a plus for us. Able to get one sack. So, Chase on only has two sacks on the year. Um, but yeah, third and 18. Hopefully, we can get off the field. What do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. And this is an extremely durable kid. Come out of Ohio State. 
carried the ball every time. Lamar just sits in the pocket. Wore down defenses and able to bring it's Are you kidding me? And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right. Sweet. This time with a big pass play. And if the peak behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think good that's TFL go there. I think you're exactly right about that. Bye. Givens bringing Mark Ingram down for a three-yard loss. Loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and thirteen. Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. I'm sure he has all the time in the world, and we get the pick. Ashton Ashton Davis getting his first pick of the game. Bringing our offense back out to the field. We absolutely need a huge, huge performance here to try to recoup some of the losses that we've had. Denzel Mims able to just outrun their outside linebacker. Gain at 26. You know, it's just, it's going to be one of those games. We got to do what we can. And we got to do it fast. Get three up to midfield. The ball carried by number 39. three yards on that last carry. Here's Tackle second and seven. Mariota now from the 50. Travis Fulgham. Hickson just slowed and down. Hickson could have had that block. We could have been in for the first Fulgham. touchdown. Well, make that now First two completions for him on this But he just, he gave up on the play. Big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other. Not what I want to see out of our number one receiver as Fulgrim catches you know, the slant once again for a quick and easy touchdown. Running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. It comes, and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose. And it's picked yep. up by the Ravens. And his yep. Mariota. Got to throw the ball away. Ball up to the 35 now. Just throw the ball away, and, first and ten. he fumbles. Fantastic. An option handoff here to Dobbins. And he'll have a gain of th third down, Jackson. Uh, Okay. So I was frozen there in the middle of the field, but we get the interception. <laughs> okay. Son Austin. We gotta we gotta look at that. Oh. So we're making that push. We're making the push. We're making the push. We get shoved down and freeze. Freeze. Hey! Denzel Mims breaking the tackle. You know, getting us up there to the 20 yard line. The edge of field goal range. First down, London. I don't know why I said field goal range. Tired. But we're on the edge of the red zone. We got some slants. Who's that? that None Number only seven. than Mr. Hickson getting in there for the touchdown. Already here in this first half, that's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, the are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation. Give me a chance. Von Chase on gets the sack and the fumble, but Baltimore recovers. You know, second and 15. Should be able to hold him to a field goal. Oh, seconds remaining in half number one. Lamar seems to be liking to roll to his right. And Jackson throwing once more. And they they leave Willie Sneed wide open. Fantastic. With some you know, 60 pinch. Fade the inside. Receiving yards combined. And he'll get in. Touchdown. Baltimore. J.K. Dobbins. 
untouched. Escaping the pressure right, and that'll be caught by the tight end. There he is. And they'll get this to the 30 the yard line before crossing over. Out I have no idea what his Excellent last name is, but the man to come in and replace Hakeem Butler, able to pick up one hell of a first down as we're trying to extend this lead. Marlon Humphrey, no match for Denzel Mims on the crosses. Mims, Mims just has a little more speed. A second down throw here for Mariota. Steps away to Marcus Mariota rolling He's left. He's able it. to get in for the touchdown. The touchdown. touchdown. 21 to 10 lead. You know, late here in the third quarter. There we go. We get the pick. Who's that? Um, yeah. Myrick. Third pick against Lamar Jackson. Hey. And if I remember correctly, we might have a opportunity for a dev trait for Guy Tuttle, I think. There we go. Cliff Hurts right up the middle. Able to get in for a huge touchdown. Should bring him close to 100 yards with that 60 yard run. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. Jackson on the keeper. From the gun, Jackson. Let's go. Another interception. Would have been nice to take that back to the house. They're a warless. Um, I don't forget where we got him from. Hey, he's out here making plays. And quite frankly, that's all that matters to me. Second and ten. Throwing on second down, Mariota, buying time to his left. Now Marcus Mariota, and he will take this one in there for a second touchdown. touchdown. He's out here Marcus showing Lamar, you know, what it was like back in his day when, you know, Mariota was actually relevant. On the screen, but it gets blown up. Third should be going for it here. Hey, hey, I'm cool if they take, but they're not. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. Just got to pretty much contain Lamar. Hopefully, he doesn't take off and try to run for this. As Raekwon McMullen It's an interception. It's too fast for Cole. He's too slow for Lamar. Even though Lamar has zero, zero ability to make a tackle, Willie Sneed is there. So that is our fifth interception on Lamar Jackson. You know, Cliff Hurts walk in, touchdown. Get a little solid dirty celebration going on. As that lead just swells, as this swells. game Look, this has been is officially over. three phases. Offense there we go, Blake Cashman on the little tip Jackson pick, putting it up at six. So oh, I was just gonna, you know, just end the video with that last rushing touchdown. But hey, we can say all around about their performance. We got an, another interception. In this game, like maybe they're facing the Canadians. Take a look at it. Just because Mar draws back, goes to hit Willie Sneed, bounces off of his shoulder, and Blake Cashman is just there, able to get the interception. Alongside All right, Charles without even having to calculate, we already know it's a five star we'll performance plus time. 10 from the Ravens. You know, just win the game, one star, one by 21. One star, so now we're at two. It's six interceptions. Each interception is half. That's another three stars. So, 
let's go steal somebody from the Ravens. All right, so with that, you know, plus 10 that we get for the five star, bringing over Spielman, moving on from Witherspoon, who we just got. We're moving on from Givens and bringing in Morrison. Uh, so, yeah, we're pretty much we're losing one scheme fit. But, hey, improving the team is more important. All right, that's going to do it for me tonight. So, we got our two absolute beatdowns, hopefully, out of the way. We're five and three, sitting at a 76 overall, 77 offense, 76 defense. Um, we lost some pretty solid guys, but then again, we also you know, brought in more improvement. Uh, but yeah, on the screen, there's my socials, uh, Instagram, Twitch, Facebook. I post daily on Instagram and Facebook, which it's, it's more hit or miss on what I'm there. But make sure, go check them out. Drop those follows. And if you haven't yet and you're enjoying the content here on the tube, hit that like button, leave those comments, and smash that subscribe button with the bell on. That way you're notified every time that I, you know, post some new new content. But until next time, Billy's out.